so far we have done national income aggregates. Now we go a step further and take up disposable income aggregates. What is the difference between the two? National income and disposable income. National income is the sum of factor incomes while disposable income is the sum of both factor incomes and non-factor incomes. What are these non-factor incomes? These are broadly transfer incomes, broadly. Not every income is a transfer income. Let us first understand what is a transfer income. Definition wise, any payment made or received without anything in return is called a transfer payment or transfer income. For example, donation, charity, gift, taxes or any such income against which the payer does not get anything in return is called transfer income. So any payment or any income without anything in return, technically it is called without any quid pro quo, without any quid pro quo. That is a transfer income. Transfer incomes are of two kinds, current transfer and capital transfer. Let us understand the difference between the two. Current transfer is any transfer made out of current income of the pair and added to the current income of the recipient. Jo de raha hai, uski jeb se jayega, uski current income me se jayega, current kharcho me se jayega, aur jisko mil raha hai, uski current income me add ho jayega. Ye capital se kaise alag hai, ye hama bhi dekhte hai. But current transfer is any transfer made out of current income and added to the current income of the recipient. Capital transfer made out of wealth or capital and added to wealth or capital of the recipient. I hope you know the difference between income and capital. Income जो आप हर महीने कमाते हैं, capital जो आपने पूंजी जमा कर रखी है, कई सालों से, वो capital कहलाती है आपके, wealth कहलाती है आपके. If any transfer is made out of capital or wealth, then it is called capital transfer. For example, big payments which normally cannot be made out of current income, they are all called capital transfers. As far as disposable income is concerned, this includes only current transfers. Keep this thing in mind. Disposable income which we are going to study just now includes only current transfers and not all transfers. Keeping this in mind, we now come to disposable income aggregates. 
we will study two sets of aggregates one national disposable income aggregates national disposable income aggregates if we call it n we call it d and we call it i then we have two two types of aggregates number one gross national disposable income gross ndi gross ndi is defined as the sum of gnp at market price you are familiar with this concept plus net current transfers from the rest of the world foreign countries gnp at market price plus net current transfers from the rest of the world here you remember transfers within the country do not affect the disposable income of the country the reason is clear transfer from reduce the disposable income of one and increase the disposable income of the other so the total disposable income of the country remains unchanged so only those transfers which are from the rest of the world from foreign countries they affect the disposable income of the country as far as exam uh, examination is concerned sometimes in the exams you get net current transfers to the rest of the world keep in mind if it is true then they should be subtracted unko fir minus karna hai net ka matlab hai received minus paid received minus paid yahan par jo matlab iska nikalta hai wo ye hai another concept is net ndi which is nnpmp plus net current transfers from the rest of the world so the only difference is of depreciation if you take gnp it in it is inclusive of depreciation if if you take nnp it is exclusive of depreciation so there is not much difference between the two types of aggregates except of depreciation so if you get a question about calculate gross national disposable income in the exam your first step will be to arrive at gnp at market price if it is about net national disposable income the first step would be to arrive at net national product at market price these are national disposable incomes then we have disposable income aggregates of the private sector disposable income aggregates of the private sector you know that in a country as far as economic division is concerned there are two broad sectors private sector public sector or government sector private sector public sector besides these two there is another sector 
rest of the world sector. So, if we calculate disposable income of the private sector, from where will the private sector get transfer incomes? One, public sector and two, rest of the world sector. Remember, these are net current transfers, net current transfers. So, jo current transfers public sector se private sector ko milte hain, rest of the world sector se private sector ko milte hain, jo net hone par positive bhi ho sakte hain, negative bhi ho sakte hain. Plus mein bhi ho sakte hain, minus mein bhi ho sakte hain, is baat ka dhyan rakhna zaruri hai. To is tarikhe se, agar hum private sector ke disposable income aggregates ka estimate lagana chahate hain, to hume इस तरीके से चलना होगा broadly. So far in the examination, the practice has been to give normally the numerical questions on both national disposable income and private disposable income. For numerical problems, you should concentrate on this table. I will take item by item and then tell you why I have taken that item. Normally,